Hello, everyone, and welcome to What's New with Anastasia. It's a weekly show where I highlight new listings in Chicago and explain why I chose them. Spoiler alert, they're not always chosen for the best reasons. My name is Anastasia Korinchevska. I'm a real estate broker with Vesta Preferred Realty, and I go over new listings every week and show them to my clients daily. Full disclosure, some of the listings you're seeing today may be already on the contract by the time this episode airs, so for the freshest availability, reach out to me directly. For the first listing, I would actually like to highlight something from Private Network. It's 870 North Milwaukee, unit number 304, listed for 475K. Now, I chose this listing for two main reasons. Number one, being natural light. If I had to pick one ask that buyers keep coming back to me with all the time, it would be natural light. So having this oversized bed windows in the living room, having no obstructions in your primary bedroom is important. Number two would be an outdoor space. We love an outdoor space in Chicago. The bigger, the better. And this deck is massive. The two things to be careful with with this place would be, well, number one would be this outdoor space because you can only really reach it from your bedroom level, at least from what I can tell on the floor plan, which isn't ideal for entertaining. So you would may want to make sure when you see it in person. The second one is the noise. You're located in River West, which is amazing, actually, because you're close to River North, you're close to West Loop without that price tag. You still have Blue Line if you have to commute, but the building is literally sandwiched in between Milwaukee Ave and I-94, which both are loud roads. So could be a good idea to see in person, gauge the noise, get a sense of the layout, and go from there. And here I would like to take a little break and stress how important it is to see private listings when you're shopping for a condo or a house. If you're only looking on Zillow, Redfin, Trulia, Realtor.com, you are not getting everything. You can only get access to private listing network with a real estate broker. Why would a seller choose to go on private market instead of going live? Well, could be multiple reasons. They could have a newborn or dogs or it's crazy work schedule and it's not that easy to get people in. Uh, they could have a tenant or another situation where it's hard to arrange showings. Uh, they could have a product that has such a high demand that they would prefer to limit access to their home to only people that are actually serious and people who work with brokers tend to be more serious in their search. Uh, or they could be gauging the price point that they should be listed at and trying to collect feedback before going live. Most private listings will go live, but some of them will end up selling off market. The example I would like to show you is this unit, 520 West Armitage, unit number two. It went on private market on November 27th. It went on the contract on November 30th. Why did it sell so quickly? Well, it has everything that a lot of buyers are looking for. The location is phenomenal. You're in Lincoln Park, but being on Armitage has that extra point. Uh, the unit itself is a vintage, is a vintage building. Uh, so it has tall ceilings, uh, like a little different layout than from your regular cookie cutter condo. But with that, it has updated kitchen. It has updated bathroom. It has in-unit laundry, which is not a given norm in East Lincoln Park. It even has a little outdoor space. So no wonder it went at the contract in only three days. And if you are not getting these private listings, do reach out to a broker like myself or anyone else to get access to everything that you can possibly see and not just things that are showing a Zillow. Now to the units that you can see everywhere. The first one I would like to highlight is 2232 West Roscoe, unit number two, which is listed for 315K. And I just know that the unit will sell quickly when I have two people reach out to me the first day when it hits the market. I actually showed the unit upstairs while it was still on private market where it went under contract. It had exactly the same footprint so I can attest to how it looks in person. This unit has a great layout. You have separate dining room, separate living room, updated kitchen. You have two bedrooms that are really good in size. Each bedroom has amazing lighting. You're overlooking Roscoe, which is a little quaint street. You're right above a little wine bar. And before you ask me, it closes at night, so it's fine. Um, and uh, of course, in-unit laundry, easy street parking in Roscoe Village, uh, tiny little outdoor space for you to catch a breath of fresh air, um, and low assessments. It has updated kitchen, 
It has updated bathroom. It has in-unit laundry. HOAs are under 400 bucks. Every bedroom is of a good size and it has amazing natural light. You're overlooking Roscoe with the little treetops, uh, which is a little like quaint neighborhood. You're located right above a cute little wine bar. And before you ask me, it closes at 9 p.m. It's fine. Just a cute little condo. Like I know that it will not be on the market by the time we air this episode. And I hope I'm going to be the one to get it on the contract. Now moving on to a little higher price point. We are at 625K and we are right on the edge of Logan Square and Backtown, which is an amazing location. You all know that. 1933 Campbell unit number 3N is a duplex up. Those are a lot more rare than duplex downs for I don't know what reason. And people love them. You have these cathedral ceilings, lots of natural light that I can't stop talking about today. Uh, your layouts are a little more unique. Uh, you usually get more than one outdoor space. Like in this specific case, you have two. And uh, it's a three bath, two bath, but you can actually use this last bedroom in a couple different ways. You can have it as a bedroom, the way it's intended. You can also have it as your second living space. You can have it as a gym, library, office, whatever you want, but it's perfect for entertaining because this deck is massive. For the last one today, I'd like to move on even to a little higher price point. We are at $880,000 in North Center at 2024 Irving Park, unit number 402. And the unit is fine. It's a brand new development. It's expected of it to be fine. But what I would like to talk about is a photography. Because sometimes, and I don't know why, I just don't. The seller decides to go with a photographer who'd like to get a little more creative and artistic. And they decide to highlight things like kitchen sinks and bathroom faucets and light fixtures and ceiling details and sometimes even the things that are not a part of the house. Why? I don't know. I would actually like to know. So if anybody knows, reach out to me. I would love to learn more about this. And this is it. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see a specific listing featured next week or if you have any questions about the ones I spoke about today, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.